this is our fourth installation video. In our first three videos, we showed you how to install WinRAR, Ecosystem Apps, and Adobe Reader. Now we're going to install Repetrel, which is the main software component for running our HiRail printer. From HiRail3D.net, we're going to go down here under Software and Firmware and click on number four, Repetrel. We have again a recap of all the steps. We show you where you can find out what version of Repetrel you're running. That's here in the red inside your Repetrel program. What version of firmware you have, which is shown here with the blue boxes. And also what port you're communicating on. But all we need now is to go past here to the Repetrel. If you're doing a new install on a new computer or upgrading a version three install, or actually for any upgrade, you can just use this. We're going to download the Repetrel directory. I've already got this downloaded, so I'm going to just cancel that. And I've got it here. Before I extract it, I'm going to go to my C colon directory. I'm going to take my existing Repetrel directory and rename it as Repetrel dot something, version three, old. You can see I've got a bunch of them here. I'm just going to call it Repetrel something older. Now we're going to double click on our download RAR. And we're going to take our Repetrel directory and we're going to drag it. Whoops. We're going to drag it directly to our C directory. If the security settings on your computer don't allow you to extract directly to the C colon, to the root, then you can extract it to your desktop or even to your downloads folder. And once it's open and extracted, then you can drag it to the appropriate directory, which should be always C colon and then Repetrel. That wasn't too bad. It's uncompressed and now it's written. So if we do a refresh, we should see our new Repetrel directory. It's got the date from when it was um, archived, when it was compressed and made available. You'll probably have a newer one available by the time you do your upgrade. But regardless, this is the C Repetrel directory. It's got a lot of subdirectories and some files. And it's got a binaries or a bin directory. That's where the executable files are stored. And you can see even here we have two versions of it. Bin, the normal one always needs to be at the path C colon Repetrel bin. That's where it needs to live. All right, well, that's it for the software upgrade. In our next step, we're going to go to step number four or number five, which is some preliminary drivers. See you there.